now if you are clear maybe first thing what i would like to cover today is callback function okay before this one uh, before integration i will start i will start with callback function okay someone asked it what is callback function it is very 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 important okay so generally okay my requirement is something like just to see i am selecting something here a user i want to automatically get his first name last name email id and all okay so that is the basic small requirement and how we know how we can do is we can do use how many ways we can do this one just tell me auto population of user details now based on your knowledge how many ways you can do client script client script yes and then maybe script include yes maybe script include two answers very good okay that's it ma client script and script include if it is client script maybe your code is this much right get a reference and then pass the values using set value agree yes sir everyone agree yes, yes no sir. yeah if it is script include then maybe it is a different thing glide ajax of script include name add param and all that that script we see in it right so that is a different thing maybe I, we don't need to see but even in client okay let me show that also just to recollect which script include right so where is our script here is our script huh? hmm. okay so here this is our client script okay and here you are calling this one right this is how you will call it you will get the details from server and even in script include where is that huh? where is our script not in this one give me one second here hmm. okay Hmm. So this is our client script. Okay, in client script you will be calling a script include, and script include is having a function. The function you will call it, and then get the data and put the data here. Okay, so here also you have something called, okay, callback function, and here also you can use callback function. Okay, forget about script include. It looks a little odd now. Okay, let's make it very simple. Okay, see here. Okay, just to see line number six. When you execute this code, first line number six will execute, right? Yes or no? Yes, and immediate fraction of seconds, line number seven will execute, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. And that time we told like, okay, maybe the cust, okay, get reference of customer. So what it is getting? It is getting a user details, right? So you are calling user details using dot walking. So when you are saying cust dot first name, it needs to connect to the database and then get this particular value, right? So we told on that day that sometimes if it delays, then this particular line number seven will not work. So line number eight also will not work because of this. Get reference is not a good one to use. That is the reason we we jumped into script include, right? You remember that particular discussion, ma? Everyone? Yes, sir. Yeah. So maybe I want to use get reference only. I don't want to use server side call. But how effectively I can use get reference for the same purposes? Okay. You use get reference only, but you use a callback function. Okay. So see this one. This code. This code. The purpose is purpose is same, but here where cust equal to g get reference of the farmer name and i am using one function you can give any name here you can give a b c x y z and all okay i am calling a function here okay and function i am defining here what function it is like function the function name maybe instead of pop just say populate and the function name is populate okay and you are passing the value customer what is customer this value okay and you are executing the two lines so now the difference between this one and this one is okay this one will immediately run 
within the fraction of seconds just just listen this particular sentence ma'am okay if you don't use callback function the next line will will run on immediate second okay but this line when you use callback function okay this will run when this is executed and you have the values until it is successful it will not proceed okay so see this is maybe synchronous this is asynchronous so what is our best practice to run server side calls asynchronous or synchronous async sir async right get xml wait okay if it is script include get xml wait so when you have a large load and that to server side calls and all you prefer to run asynchronously not synchronously synchronously means simultaneously it will run in a flow but asynchronous means it will run separately and get their output and then use that output okay this behavior of these two okay the behavior the functionality of these two codes are same you are seeing here see here this is our code right and i used this populate and then i called i called a callback function and i am running it here okay you can see that same thing see here the functionality is same if i change it okay it executes the same but it is ah uh, it is executed the same but now it is a callback function it gets the it gets the things from server waits and then keep it so that there would be no mismatch but here sometimes if the call is delayed then you don't get the value of this one you don't get the value of this one so this two will not run okay that is the reason whenever they say whenever you use get reference use callback function and callback function is run function within the function okay you run it separately get the output that is what the meaning of callback function is that makes sense ma script include even in script include also we we kept callback function you remember so if you see here uh, pop we kept it right so maybe i didn't show that script because it look it is looking very odd but now if you see get xml of pop i kept and in pop population populated something we define separately see here we are getting this pop here and the pop is like we are running the pop separately this is also a callback function that time i skipped it intentionally right someone asked why sir callback function is that more is that clear ma yes yes sir everyone please confirm this is very important question also and very important thing actually not a question maybe but yeah important thing whenever you use get reference this is a very important question ma when you are using get reference as part of client script best practices keep it in uh, callback function don't directly use it don't directly run like this but run like this you are not doing anything okay so this is your this is your two lines this is your third line okay after third line you are just passing a uh, callback function and you, you are defining callback function here you need to pass cust here this cust here you need to pass you are passing the value here clear everyone yes no sir i have one doubt sir yes ma please sir uh, in script include we haven't used the get reference method no sir then why do we use callback function because it is connecting to server and it is not only like get reference ma whenever you are getting the data externally where it takes some time better use callback function here we are getting the data using get reference you got it ma there are two different things ma okay my you, you stick with my statement that is the reason the question came when i say whenever we are using get reference use callback function that is one sentence you take that sentence and then you apply that to script include one right yes, don't apply it ma that is different this is different <laughs> callback okay. function is not only for get reference okay that is a best practice where you can use in anywhere calling a function within the function is callback function okay sir right make it simple don't make it little complex right any other question see now sir yeah it means whenever we are calling the data from server side this is the best practice yes right? ma this is so, the best practice yeah because 
it will wait for the output the main callback function thing is okay this it the first prime see here what exactly we are doing is okay let's say i have one function maybe simple way if you see some other portals now some other data you will see something general examples also okay so i have something called function one okay function one is uh, maybe uh, preparation okay you are having biryani preparation okay you you have biryani preparation here you are meant you are getting everything here okay and you have another function okay uh, buying buying chicken something like this okay this is another function so you can't do biryani without chicken so you call this function here <clears throat> okay you call this function here when you have this values then only execute this function so this particular function will wait till you get you get values for this one so you are calling a function within the function you got it ma or else instead of if you don't want to do then let's say here you have 10 lines 10 lines of code to buy a chicken you need to define these 10 lines again there also okay and to take this output and then proceed with the 11th line and it is synchronous you got it now you are getting it so let's say yes, Mario, so do you, could you explain in some giving different examples why sir? Mario, you are vegetarian huh? no sir i mean sir <laughs> different way i am getting confused no no nothing it is very simple see here our main job is biryani preparation okay so for biryani preparation first thing is we need to buy the chicken chicken grocery let's say chicken grocery everything okay so forget about this function you don't have this function now okay so now if you want to define in one function you have to do maybe 15 lines of code okay first till 10 lines of code is okay buying groceries chicken and all and then from 11 from 11 to 15 like preparation of biryani this part is clear ma yes no yes sir huh. yes sir now i am saying instead of like instead of writing these 10 lines here what i do is i will define another function with those 10 lines that is this function okay and you call this function here if this function is true then you will instruct the system to proceed with 11th line okay so when it will be true it needs to execute here get the all things executed then it is true then proceed with 11 so you are calling a function within the function is that clear so now this one will be called as callback function okay sir that means uh, we are using a callback function only to call the function within the function right? yes that is a simple definition uh, it, yes yeah yeah it runs the uh, asynchronously First, ah, it, it uh, the get the output in uh, within uh, function. Then, uh, yes. based on that output only, it will run the main function. Yes, right? it it runs asynchronously. That means, till the time it executes, this line will wait. Let's say I have two lines here. Let's let's say something like this. Okay, you have first five lines. You have it, five lines of code. Okay, and then you are initiating a callback function, and this one have ten lines. Okay, and then you have additional five lines this is biryani preparation okay so now first five lines execute and then you are initiating the callback function okay then the callback function will come here execute all 10 lines which are there in this particular one okay till the time it executes completely this will not move to the next line this is asynchronous it is waiting is that clear man yes. now Garu? Uh, yes sir yeah so here also wherever you see callback function you just apply this one calling a function within the function is callback function why we do is to run asynchronously if you don't make it it runs synchronously means one by one so if you read this particular line if a callback function is present this routine runs asynchronously and browser or script processing will continue normally until the server returns the reference value 
okay so, but the, it's the same thing ma the same thing whatever you are, we are discussing na, the same thing until we don't get the value it will not proceed okay if a callback function is not present this routine runs synchronously and processing will be halt oh oops we are causing the browser to appear hang while waiting for the server response i think we are discussing in a reverse way na? synchronously means wait huh? halt asynchronous means no wait yesterday i think we discussed wait ma <coughs> uh, asynchronous wait, means no wait no wait yeah so here wait means synchronous async no sync no wait uh, yeah ma we are yeah we are clear i think no wait wait so you can stick with this meaning is same but yes you are getting it right maybe i'm get, i'm making you confused but one will run synchronously one will run asynchronously so till the time you get server response the next it will wait got it maybe i said asynchronously but it is synchronously got it